in the last presentation we saw the introduction to the boolean algebra i explained you this example and also we did three rules in the boolean algebra the first one was the complement rule then we saw four rules in the and operation a and a is equal to a a and 0 is equal to 0 a and 1 is equal to a a and a complement is equal to 0 in the same way we did for the or operation a or a is equal to a a or 0 is equal to a a or 1 a very important one is equal to 1 and a or a complement is equal to 1 so this was the rule that we completed in the last presentation now we will move to the fourth rule distributive law this is one of the most important laws in the boolean algebra and we will solve a lot of problem depending upon this rule and uh, according to me none of the boolean algebra problem asked in the exam will not have this rule involved you have to use this rule to solve the problem so this one is very important and we will uh, see two rules in this the first one is a and b or c this is equal to a and b or a and c this is known to everyone no need to explain and the second one is little bit weird one a or b and c now this one is equal to a or b and a or c this is very important very important and it is nothing different from this because here i was having and operator and at this point i have or operator here i was having or operator but here i am having and operator so the operator is interchange so i will interchange the operator in the result also the and is changed to the or the or is changed to the and in the same way the and is changed to the or so in this way you can remember it it is very simple and we use this distributive lot when we have a or a complement b most of the student will see as the minimized form because they cannot take or operation they cannot take and operation so what will they do they will conclude that this one is the minimum form and this is our answer but definitely it is not the case you can further break it into this form a or a complement from here you can see we have a and b is replaced by a complement and c is replaced by b so i'm just using this distributive law a or b in the same way i have a or a complement and a or b a or b and you very well know from the or operation a or a complement is equal to one so we have we have a or a complement as one and a or b and one and a or b 1 and a or b from here you can see 1 and a is equal to a so if i say this a or b is x let's say this a or b is x so i have 1 and x so this is equal to x and x is a or b so i have a or b so directly when i have a or a complement b i will just eliminate this a complement and i will have a or b this is the most important part of the boolean algebra very 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 important and we will use this a lot along with the rules that i have already explained so this one is important there is one more form of this particular type if i have a complement or a and b then i will eliminate this a and simply i will have a complement or a b so these two things you have to keep in your mind while solving the boolean algebra and i hope you will do now we will move to the fifth a rule that is our commutative law the commutative law boolean algebra does follows the commutative law if i have a or b then it can be written as b or a there is no difference in these two things and the same way if i have a and b then it is equal to b and a this is a simple commutative law and uh, the sixth one the sixth one is associative law associative law and uh, in this if i have a and b and c then it is definitely equal to a b 
C. What we did, we took the AND operation of A and B first, then with C, but in this case we took B and C first, then with A, and there is no difference in both the things, whatever be the output, in this case is same as this one. So this is associative and commutative law, I told you the distributive law, and there is one more important thing, which is the priority, the priority. This is no law, but the priority I'm going to tell you. The priority of the not is the greatest. Then we have and, then we have and, and then we have or. So first we have to solve the not operation, the complement one. Then we have to solve the and, then we have to solve the or. This is an important rule to remember when you solve the Boolean algebra. And the last rule, the seventh one, is the De Morgan's law. The De Morgan's law it's very simple if you have a or b and then you want to take its complement it's just a complement law then it is equal to a complement and b complement we just complemented the variables then we have a complement and b complement and we change the operator to and we were having or and we change it to and in the same way if i have a and b and then i want to take the complement it is equal to a complement I took the complement of the variable and I will replace this and by or operator and I will the complement of the variable so this is the de Morgan's law it is just a simple way to take the complement and uh, we have completed all the rules for the boolean algebra now we will see one example the example that I took initially the umbrella one in which I had to take the umbrella and I told you that this y is same as A or B and C complement and I'm going to reduce this one to this by using the boolean algebra so let's do it y is equal to B A C complement or B complement A C complement or B C complement and the first thing that we have to do is to solve the complement I have already explained you about the priority and in the priority we have to first solve the not that is the complement then and then or and we will solve the complement by using the de Morgan's law so let's try to solve the complement here but uh, you can see there is nothing to solve in the complement we don't have anything like a or c complement we have simply the complement of the variable and you cannot solve it further then we will try to solve for the and operation we will see if we have a and a a and 0, A and 1, A and A complement. We will try to have this combination here, but unfortunately we don't have. Then finally we will move for the OR. And I can see this AC complement. This AC complement is common in the first two literals. So I will take common AC complement and in bracket I will have B or B complement and this one is written as it is BC complement so what if I have B or B complement what is the result B or B complement what is the result let me show you the result from here A or A complement is equal to 1 so if I have B or B complement definitely it will be equal to 1 so Y is equal to AC complement and 1 this B or B complement is 1 or BC complement if anything is ended with 1 like X is ended with 1 the result is X from here you can see A is ended with 1 we have 1 so if I say this AC complement is X I'm solving it here then Y is X and 1 or BC complement X and 1 is equal to X or BC complement X is AC complement so I will write A C complement or B C complement this is Y now these two things are definitely equal if uh, you want to use the distributive law here then it is equal to A C complement I'm just using the distributive law or B C complement so A C complement or B C complement is the same as what we have got here so in this way you have to solve for the boolean algebra you have to use the rules that I have explained you it is better if you write these rules at some point and try to solve few more problems in the next presentation I will explain two or three problems and that will help you to solve the boolean algebra and you can see we have reduced the number of gates here we were having more gates as compared 
to this one so this is all for this presentation see you in the next one